Today we are continuing with circumference and area of a circle with this matching activity. Um, this is day three of circumference and area, so I am only going to do two problems with you, and then you are going to work on the rest in class. Um, tomorrow we will be reviewing, and Wednesday is your test. Um, so make sure you utilize your notes to help you today. Um, again, this is day three, so we should be starting to understand and knowing how to write down a formula and plug into it. Then once we do that, all it is is multiplication. So let's go ahead and get started. These are your three formulas that we will be using today. Um, and then here is number one. It says determine the circumference um, when... The radius is 16, so it tells you to find circumference. And then it tells you that radius is 16. So when ra it gives you radius, this is the formula we're going to use for circumference. Um, first up, we always do is write down your formula. So C equals 2 pi R. And then all of that is multiplication, so we're going to just plug in C equals 2. Pi, I'm going to put inside parentheses. We know that pi equals 3.14. So we're going to plug in 3.14 right here. And then the problem itself told us that radius is 16, so we're going to plug in 16. When we use this particular formula, I always like to multiply my whole numbers first. That just allows me not to have to multiply decimals twice or with decimals twice. So C equals 2 times 16, which is, if you said 32, you are correct, 32 times 3.14. So we're going to go over the side and write 3.14 times 32. And we have two numbers to the right of the decimal. So you're going to go ahead and press pause right now and um, do the multiplication and then press play when you have finished. Okay, so when you multiply those two numbers times each other, you should have gotten 10,048. And then we place our decimal back into the problem. Uh, moving it to the left two times, and our circumference is 100.48. Okay, so we're going to go over to our matching, and notice that here is 100.48. So your answer, or your letter to number one, is C. Okay, so then we are going to move on and go to number two. So number two says determine the diameter. So this is a different kind of problem. Determine diameter um, when the circumference equals 84.78. So we're talking about circumference and we're talking about diameter. So here is circumference. Here is diameter. So we're going to pick this formula. Remember, we always write our formula down first. C equals pi D. Okay, and then now we plug in. They gave us C, they gave us, uh, we're looking for D. So instead of C equals, we have 84.78 equals. And then we know pi is 3.14. And then we do not know D, so we place D there. Now this is a simple one-step equation where this is multiplication right here. So we are going to divide to solve and we are dividing by 3.14. Okay, so then 3.14 divided by 3.14 is one. So we have D left over. Okay, and then 84.78 divided by 3.14. Okay, remember we do not divide by decimals, so we need to move our decimal over two times to the right, one, two. And then again, what we do on the outside, we have to do on the inside, one, two. Okay, and then we bring our decimal straight up. Remember, I like to um, rewrite this 
just because it's neat. 314 and 8,478. But don't forget, you have to have that decimal right there. Okay, so now we're determining how many times does 314 go into 847, and that is, so it goes into 8 zero times, it goes into 84 zero times, and then 847, hopefully we can tell that that is twice. Um, doubling 314, 2 times 314 is 628. Okay, so then we're subtracting. We have to borrow right here to make that a 17, and then make that a 3. So 17 minus 8 is 9, and then 3 minus 2 is 1, and then 8 minus 6 is 2. So we're going to bring our 8 straight down. Okay, and then I'm going to go off to the side and say 314 times... Um, We'll say, if I look at the 3 and the 21, I'm going to say that 7 times. So let's just see. 7 times 8 is 28. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 2 is 9. And 7 times 3 is 21. Looky there. I didn't think that was going to work out so nicely. Minus 2198 is 0. So diameter is 27. That was nice. And if we look over here, 27 is option A. So A. Let's make that a little more clear. A. Okay, so now you have the remainder of the paper to finish. Uh, make sure you're showing your work on every problem. You're utilizing your notes to help you. And then you're taking a picture of this and filling out an answer document. Um, this should all be done by the end of class. But if you do not finish by the end of class, then you need to make sure that you do it for homework and turn it in tonight. This is a great.